All right, guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in to another live streaming broadcast here at Sailor Jack's Barbell Garage. We are talking about YouTube, the weekend review, the Rio Olympics, and right out of the gate, what I want to say is, in the background, you may hear whistles blowing and people yelling, so I just wanna give you a quick shot here over my shoulder. We got an ice rink in behind the gym here. I'm actually in a hockey facility. So big shout out to Impact Hockey Development doing their damn thing. They got a hockey camp going on in the background there, Impact Hockey Development. If you're looking for training in Langley, go and check them out, Impact Hockey Development. They are all about hockey. They will get you better at your game. So again, if you hear any kind of like whistles or screaming in the background, that's what's up. So to the first point of our conversation today, the Rio Olympics. Shout out to Andre de Grasse for coming in third in the world, winning the bronze medal in the 100 men's sprint final, bringing in the first medal for a male Canadian athlete at the Rio Olympics. Myself, personally, I tune into that because the 100 meter, as we all know, is one of the premier events at the Olympics. Not to take away from the other sports, like I myself, find myself watching wrestling, judo, as well as weightlifting. Those are the sports that I enjoy watching. And I'm sure there are many out there among you who uh, watch other sports and, and favor other sports. But the Olympics is awesome because it gives us a chance as a world, as a community, to kind of put all of the bullshit about terrorism and all that stuff to the back burner and celebrate a global community and come together as athletes and, and celebrate achievement, athletic achievement, and excellence in sport. Now, earlier in the Olympics, I, I can't remember exactly when it was, uh, there was a judo match between, I believe it was an Egyptian judo player as well as an Israeli Egyptian player. And there's a lot of controversy around this match in particular because uh, one of the players went to shake the other player's hand and there was no uh, sportsmanship demonstrated at the, end of the, at the end of the games. And my own personal opinion, this is my own personal opinion, um, is that Sport has to be larger than politics. It has to cross borders and boundaries, and that's really what the spirit of the Olympics is all about, in my opinion. So I just think that um, you know the handshake should have transpired. That's my own opinion on, on that particular issue. So take it for what it's worth. I'm sure you guys all have opinions on the situation yourselves, and for those of you that don't know, go check it out. Um, but yeah, I think the Olympics shouldn't be a platform for politics. Um, I think that the Olympics should be about something larger. It should be about us as a global community, in my opinion. It should be about us uh, celebrating athletics and achievement and breaking down boundaries and borders and celebrating humanity as, as, as a whole in its entirety and what the true spirit of the Olympics uh, represents. So again, shout out to Andre de Grasse for winning the Olympic bronze medal in the 100 meter sprint. Um, we kind of found it humorous when you look at Andre de Grasse in contrast to Usain Bolt, who's six five, and you see Andre de Grasse, um, you know, running next to him. He's kind of like the Kevin Hart of of the sprint community. It's like Kevin Hart, you know, taking on Shaquille O'Neal kind of thing. Uh, anyways, I just put it out there. I thought it was pretty funny um, hearing it in that in that kind of relationship, but. Uh, congratulations nonetheless. My kudos to Andre de Grasse for his efforts in the 100 meter final at Rio uh, and bringing home the bronze. Way to go. Big things to come from that young gentleman. He's only 21. There's a lot ahead for him. So we're really excited to watch him grow and develop and see what comes out of the next Olympics uh, from that young man. Definitely uh, can see the torch being passed from uh, Usain Bolt to uh, Andre de Grasse, both of whom are sponsored by Puma. But uh, again, awesome, awesome event last night, and congratulations once again to Andre for bringing home the bronze medal to Canada in the 100 men's meter final. We can review. Um, for those of you that don't know, there is also a Sailor Jack's YouTube channel. Go and check that out. We're dropping videos there, um, and we'll get into more in-depth videos. So I intend to shorten the Facebook Live videos and then lengthen and expand on videos on YouTube. So you're gonna to wanna to go to YouTube and subscribe to our channel because there'll be a lot more content and expanded content uh, through that forum. Um, as well as our Instagram account, we'll be doing programming there and snapshots of live action in the facility so you can stay abreast of what's going on in the facility itself too. 
Um, we put out some content this weekend on the YouTube platforms, just kind of testing it out. So you check out those platforms. Again, as I said, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so that you can get updates when new videos are uploaded uh, and you can stay abreast of training technique and tips and tactics, as well as become aware of when new programs are being launched and uh, possible opportunities for you to get involved in online training in the future. Um, what to talk about next. Real Olympics, we can review YouTube. Okay, so tier two, tier two programming. Why am I always talking about tier two programming? The reason why I like to talk about tier two programming to the larger audience, to you guys out there, is that with our tier two programming, it's pretty generic and general in scope. It's broad in scope. So there's no specificity involved. I think these workouts, the tier two workouts, are something that all of you guys can incorporate into the fold of your workouts. So you have the opportunity to uh, take what you like from our workouts and incorporate them into your workouts. And again, they adhere to Paul Check's principles of holistic health coaching. So all I'm looking at doing with these general broad workouts is covering several planes of movement that we do in everyday life. Again, pushing, pulling, trunk flexion, trunk extension, trunk rotation, lunging, squatting, and of course incorporating the core through breathing and bracing. So every single tier two workout tries to cover off those uh, several uh, pillars of Paul Check's holistic health coaching uh, principles. So uh, with today's workout, we have a few of our athletes getting ramped up to go to a Mutterella competition. So today's workout is simply a thousand meter row, uh, 100 sledgehammer strikes, and then we go for a five lap run, which is about one kilometer. So we're just looking at building a solid broad base for aerobic endurance, aerobic capacitance. So you can choose when you want to incorporate that metabolic conditioning circuit into your workout. Again, it's a thousand meter row for uh, time as fast as you can cover the thousand meters. You're also looking at caloric expenditure. Then you're going to hit off hundred uh, sledgehammer strikes. We're just looking at doing an activity for upper body. We're also getting a little bit of rotation involved in there. And let's face it, it's just fun as shit to hit something. So we incorporate the hundred sledgehammers to break up the row and the run and then we have a five lap run to finish or a one kilometer run to finish and then we bring it all home and stretch roll out ice rinse wash repeat tomorrow come back in so there you have it folks we can review youtube channel update as well as a little bit of talk about the real olympics and our tier two programming so tune in tomorrow another facebook live update we're going to get them shorter and shorter and then watch our youtube channel subscribe to the youtube channel and listen like, share, comment down below. Let's grow our Sailor Jacks community online and do the damn thing together. Deuces up. Let's get stronger. Enjoy your day. Peace.